Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's GTA 5 video We're gonna be talking about the brand new diamond casino heist that are gonna be coming out in today's video We'll be focusing on the payouts how the setups are going to work how I think they're going to be like and a whole lot more so this is gonna be one of the most interesting parts of the actual update itself is the money that you can make from this because in the diamond casino and resort update the way you make money was very weird. You either did like the uh, story mode missions or you gambled at the casino. It was very strange, something we had never seen before. This, I feel like, is going to traditionally be more like a heist update. So in order to get a better idea on how the Diamond Casino heist is going to work, we need to take a look at the heist from the previous two updates. Let's begin from the heist DLC in 2015. So this consisted of five heist missions, the Fleece a Job, the Prison Break, the Humane Labs Raid, Series A Funding, and the Pacific Standard Job. Now all of these heists required at least four players with the exception of the first one, which was two players. And they also each had an initial startup cost as well, $11,500 for the Fleece a Job, $40,000 for the Prison Break, 54,000 for the Humane Labs Raid, 40,400 for the Series A funding, and 100,000 for the Pacific Standard. And that setup cost was inquired by the person that was starting the actual heist. Now, in that update, you had to be ranked 12 or above to set up a heist, and you must own a high-end apartment. I'm going to take a guess and say that 99% of the guys that are watching this video are above level 12, so even if that is a requirement of these new heists, I think everyone will be good to go there. So how these heists work is you had a certain number of prep missions, which would basically just be like normal Grand Theft Auto Online missions with a money reward at the end and an RP bonus, and that would eventually lead you up to the heist finale which is where you would then divvy up what percentage of the money the host is going to get and what percentage the other players are going to get. Now, for the first five heist missions, you could have a take of easy, normal, and hard. So that means that if you completed all of the heist missions on easy, your total payout by the time you finish the Pacific Standard job would be around $1.2 million dollars, if you did the entire thing on normal, your total payout would be around $2.5 million. And if you did the entire thing on hard, your total payout would about be $3.1 million. Now remember, that would have had to have been split in whatever way you wanted to choose between four different players, with the exception of the first heist mission, the Fleece a Job. So those were your total payouts right there. And really the last thing about these heist missions is that they were completely separate from the rest of the player base in Grand Theft Auto Online. You were essentially in your own private sessions allowed to carry out the job. So that's the first set of heist missions. The second set of heist missions arrived in 2017, and that is the Doomsday Heist. Now there are a couple of differences here. The first difference is, is that there are only three total heists. Um, there's also a difference in the number of players you can use. They don't require four. It can be from two to four players, although it can't be done solo. There's also a setup cost for the data breaches. It's 65000 For the Bogdan problem, it's 95000 And for the Doomsday scenario, it's 120000 And these heist missions also could not be completed on easy, only normal and hard. So that means if you were to do the data breaches, the Bogdan problem, and the doomsday scenario on normal, your total payout would be $2.8 million that you would then have to split between two and four players. And if you were to do the entire thing on hard, your total payout would be $3.5 million that you would have to then split between two to four players. So that gives us a good idea on what the payout has been like for the first two sets of heist missions. We gradually saw an increase in the payout, and I think we're going to see an increase in the payout with the Diamond Casino heist. Now, for those first two sets of heist missions, there was also a lot of other bonuses that you could do. Like, for example, if you completed all the heist setups and finales in order, you would get a bonus of a million dollars. If you did it with the same team, you would get a bonus of a million dollars. There's the criminal mastermind challenge. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do to get a lot of extra money here. And I'm assuming there will be bonus rewards and elite challenges associated with the diamond casino heist as well. 
However, what makes the Diamond Casino heist, I think, the most interesting is it looks like it's only going to be one heist mission. And I think it's going to have more single-player elements to it than the previous two sets of heist. So according to the Rockstar Newswire, the Diamond Casino heist is an all-new approach to heist architecture and execution. One huge gameplay-packed operation as you work with the Chang family to infiltrate the most secure building in all of Los Santos. And they say how it has a diverse range of opportunities for setup and prep missions. That's interesting that they mention both of those. And those will shape your plan of attack, multiple paths of approach, consistently changing security measures, and a dizzying array of choices once inside. Expect outcomes for you and your crew to change on the fly as you deal with new situations, leading to more choices mid-mission. Even if the best laid plans go sideways, you'll have the opportunity to keep the mission afloat without failing by shooting your way out with your remaining team lives, all allowing the heist to be highly replayable and with new scenarios unfolding each time. Okay, so here's how I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be similar to the online heist that we've seen so far, but with more of a single player style approach. So if you guys remember any of the single player heists, essentially before you started the whole thing, you had to choose like what way you wanted to do it. Did you want to be smart or did you want to be loud and dumb? And then that would ultimately determine your setup missions and your prep missions. And that's interesting that Rockstar mentions both here because the way the Doomsday heist missions worked they were different than the original heist missions. You did them, and they were like normal missions, but they happened in free roam, where other online players could interact with you. And I personally wasn't a big fan of this because there's already enough griefing that goes on in Grand Theft Auto Online, so the fact that you have to like do something when you know someone in an oppressor Mark II can just like blow up your ambulance as you're trying to get it back to your facility, that's just a little silly in my opinion. So I honestly think that this heist is going to have both. There might be some missions where you're in your own lobby. There might be some missions that have to happen in like a, a free roam style environment. I also think that the amount of money that you ultimately make by the end of the heist is going to change as the missions go on. So that's kind of the thing that Rockstar mentioned is that, you know, the best laid plans can go sideways and I think that as the mission goes along, you'll start like losing money if you do things the wrong way. And what do I think the final payout is going to be? Well, from the artwork, we obviously know that we are going to be robbing the Diamond Casino Vault. And uh, on the newswire, it says we are to grab the goods and extract revenge at the same time. Now, in the artwork that Rockstar has showed off, it looks like that reward is going to be gold bars, which is different from everything we've seen so far. Uh, you know, all the other heist missions have either been extracting revenge, like in the Doomsday heist, where there really wasn't like money we were going after. It was like saving the world and we were rewarded for saving the world. And in the regular set of heist missions, it was money, but it was like cash from the inside of a bank on multiple different occasions. So this looks like it's going to be strictly gold, which kind of reminds me of the final Union Depository mission from single player. And really, what do I think the payout is going to be? Because we've seen a significant growth in payment on each set of heist missions, I think this one is going to start at $5 million, being like the maximum you can get. And then, of course, you would have to split that between two and four players, which is also something I think you're likely going to have to have two to four players on this mission. I think Rockstar learned their lesson from the first set of heist that people didn't like having to be in groups of four. So two to four is kind of your nice balance there. And I also think $5 million is a really good reward, especially because of how expensive things are in Grand Theft Auto Online for how detailed and cool this heist mission ultimately is going to be. The big question for this is if Rockstar does make a huge reward at the end, like $5 million, I wonder how many setups and preps it'll ultimately take in order to get to that heist finale. That is kind of the big question there. Like, what if there's eight to 10 prep missions and that takes you like seven hours? You know, is it worth it? Even if you do get $5 million at the end, that once again has to be split between two and four players, or is it going to be, you know, really short? Like there's only three to four prep missions 
Uh, this could actually be a very profitable heist. Knowing Rockstar, I'm sure they will put their limitations on there. Uh, again, going back to the artwork itself, we can kind of tell some of the things that's going to be happening. Clearly, we know it's taking place at the Diamond Casino, uh, but there looks to be at least one mission where we have to be rappelling down some like elevator shaft or something like that. We're obviously going to be drilling into the vault. Looks like there is some escape that is going to occur on the streets of Los Santos where the police are chasing us. But outside of that, I think it's just going to be a really nice modification of the existing heist missions we've seen. But this time it's just going to be one big heist that obviously you have to start at the retro arcade. That's something we didn't even really talk about. Uh, but we have in a previous video, the retro arcade is going to be where you start all this stuff and uh, where you ultimately run your missions. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know how you think the Diamond Casino heist is going to work in Grand Theft Auto Online. Do you think it's going to be similar to the ones we've seen in the past? What do you think the payout is going to be like? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Diamond Casino Heist videos that I'm going to be doing on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.